Hello everyone, welcome to Wilson Bike. Welcome to Victoria International Airport. I've arrived, my bike arrived, the bags arrived. So everything is looking good. The task that lies ahead of me is to put the bike back together and this is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm thinking two hours, I'll be on the road. Progress update, the sutra is doing very well, coming along nicely. I have a few more things to add, certainly add more bags, um, then attach the panniers and I'll be ready to go. So this is what it looks like now. Two hours, eight minutes later, the bike is ready. A brief update from the road. I'm now heading to an Airbnb I booked. This Airbnb is very close to the airport and this is how I planned it just in case there was something wrong with the bike or you know not have to travel a long distance get used to riding a fully loaded bike. I have to say it's wobbly it's wobbly getting used to balancing on a fully loaded bike is certainly something that will take a couple of days but Look at this! I arrived at my destination. It's a little cabin out in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So you enter and it's this kind of shed type place. My bike is most likely going to stay here. But this is what the cabin looks like. So this is the main door. To the left, we have a little shower and a washroom and there's a little kitchenette a bed and super special a tiny a tiny little backyard area how cool is that so that's my that's my first night splurge i actually start my tour on monday so i'm going to call these pre days day zero I don't know if it makes sense right now to my little scattered brain, my little tired scattered brain. It makes perfect sense. Okay, bye. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of zero. Yes, that still makes perfect sense to me today. I'm just about to get my bike ready. I'm going to put all the bags on my bike. I'm a little bit more organized today, which is already a big plus. What's the plan for today? Today I'm meeting with a friend of mine and we're heading over to Victoria. I will be staying with a warm showers host for the next two days. I'll be getting all the last minute bits and details and then on Monday I will start the Cross Canada tour for real and that will be day one. Okay without further ado let's head out. Hello from the road. My friend has arrived. We're just heading on over to Victoria on a pretty popular train, which name I now forget, but so be it. There's my friend. And there am I. I just wanted to show you this trail. The trail is fantastic. So we've been riding on a rail trail and now we're getting closer to Victoria, the city center. And it's just getting so beautiful. Look at this. And here's one for Ryan Van Duzer. Ole, 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 ole. Woo! <laughs> it's fun. Also fun traveling with somebody else. This is a first for me. <laughs> We're now following the Galloping Goose Regional Trail and that's going to take us to downtown Victoria. Hello everyone and welcome to day three of zero. We are in Victoria today. I forgot to sign off yesterday. But we did get to Victoria to my, our very first warm showers host. So it's me and Sahar. Say hi to Sahar. Hello. <laughs> and today we're just walking around the city of Victoria. I may show you a little bit. What have we done so far? We went. We went to Shoppers, MEC or Mac. Another Robinson's, outdoor. Robinson's outdoor. Here we go. We're just pretty Little much. Beach. <laughs> 
brunch. We, that's correct, we had brunch. And yeah, so far it's, we're just being tourists. Oh, somebody is coming on this multi-bi-directional bike path. Here you go. I am incredibly impressed with the cycling infrastructure in Victoria. Super easy cycling. I've experienced this coming from the airport. Sahar experienced this coming off the ferry. Getting into the downtown area, super easy. Again, a lot of bi-directional separated bike lanes. Um, I am just kind of overwhelmed with how good the cycling infrastructure is here. But yeah, so that's the update for day three. And when we get closer to the water, I will show you around. Okay, over and out. So tomorrow is when the bike tour across Canada begins for real. Tomorrow is day one of the adventure. And we're going to be starting by the mile zero marker or the mile zero monument. I'm going to do my best to sprinkle some water on the wheel, on the back wheel of my bike. And then we're going to ride to a campsite and yeah, just keep on riding. So we're walking in Beacon Hill Park. Now, Beacon Hill Park is the park where we will be coming tomorrow to start at the mile zero marker. So we're just going to check things out, see what the access to the water looks like. I'm insisting on <laughs> spritzing some water on my wheel. We'll see how easily doable that is. But yeah. This is a beautiful, beautiful park from what we've seen thus far. We're just going to have a leisurely walk and we're gonna grab a coffee, right? At some point. <laughs> just gonna grab tea. We made it, we made it. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. That's done. Pacific Ocean, baby. 